Okay, so this is how I added this background on my OBS. Okay, I hit the plus on at source right here on the bottom. Uh, you will see the at sources section. You have like a little plus. You have a little trash can that you can go ahead and select something and delete it. You can go into its settings and properties and you can then choose to move it forward, to move it back in the scenes. So for this one to go ahead and add this background, that's as you can see here, it's looping. You're going to go ahead and hit that plus sign and then you're going to go ahead and go to media source. Media source is going to give you anything that's like a video that's playing, maybe even sometimes a GIF. Um, so you're going to click on media source. It's going to populate a window that's going to ask you, hey, what do you want to add or what do you want to name it? I just left it as a default of media source. You can totally rename it whatever you want. After that, it's going to ask you, hey, where is this media, right? You're going to browse through your computer where you want to go ahead, where you want to have all of your videos or any sort of background media, whatever you have commissioned, or maybe an, an, an image, right? And you're going to select it. And if it's a video, it's very important that you select loop so that it keeps on going and going and going. Because if I take off loop and this video is 10, this one's 18 seconds. If it's at uh, once it hits 18 seconds, it's going to stop and it's going to freeze, right? You're not going to see the effect of the fire and the flame that you can see here that's moving and the snow just falling. So it's important you go ahead and hit loop and hit OK. Um, 